Hello, for the October 2017 Retro Challenge, I have a TRS-80 Color Computer 2. And a mysterious unlabeled floppy disk. Let's see what's on it. Let's load Alt Bass. So Alt Bass is a Intel 8080 emulator, which sets aside 4K of RAM on the Coco and then boots up 4K Alta Basic. So let's it's asking how much memory it has, so four oh nine six. And the first thing you'll notice is that this is extremely slow. The color computer runs at 0.9 megahertz. There is a command I can do to make it run at 1.8 megahertz. Um, but that's not gonna help much because this emulator is written in C. And the compiler, you know, is okay, but isn't very optimized. So, uh, the, the emulator I found online is the giant switch case statement. And uh, simple C compilers do the obvious thing, and they turn it into a giant if-else chain. So for every instruction, instead of going through something you know, efficient like a jump table or anything like that, it's just checking, uh, is it is it this instruction then do this else is it this other instruction do that and so on for you know how many opcodes are that 255 and then it goes to the next instruction so this runs uh probably at least a hundred times slower than an altair actually would um but it does work so you can could type something into it like print um what's one divided by three okay now this is a single floating point division which in 8080 doesn't have floating point hardware so there's a floating point divide routine in l2 basic which amounts to running thousands of 8080 opcodes which you know by the time it gets to the emulator this poor 6809 has to run millions of instructions just to do this um it does eventually give the answer back. You can even write short programs like print A and 20. See, I'm trying to type 20, but it's, it wasn't done parsing the line I typed. 20 A equals A plus 1. So as soon as I press enter, I'm going to start typing 3. And you'll see how long it takes for it to parse this one line. Three, 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 three after every keystroke, uh, but that's not really the case. You just have to pause every time it does anything. Uh, so I'm going to type run uh, when it's ready. And we'll see how slow this is. Um, okay. Okay, that is zero. So it's probably adding one to it. And then going to 10. And then, oh, it found 10, prints the one. And you could actually probably describe the function of this program faster than it's running. So, let's see. Uh, print A. A equals A plus 1. 30, go to 10. Hello? Is 10 there? Yo, oh, there it is. Okay, see? You can actually uh, describe what the program is doing faster than... The pro than the actual computer running the program, which can't do on, you know, any you can't even do that on a Coco. 
Uh, you probably couldn't do that on a real Altair. Uh, this is just excruciatingly slow. Uh, I'm going to look and see if there's any optimizations I can do. Maybe I can write a jump table or something to speed it up. Uh, I don't have any hopes of this being significantly faster, though. Uh, this is just a complete waste of time. Uh, but that's what the Retro Challenge is all about, right? Just uh, finding newer and more interesting ways to run programs even slower. Thanks for watching.